Assalamualaikum and good morning. This video lecture is on heat exchanger network design for maximum energy recovery. For the full lecture notes, you can download from Island under Chapter 3. Before you go through this video lecture, please make sure that you already download and print out the, this lecture notes so that it's much more easier for you to go through step by step. Here is the procedure for the heat exchanger design to achieve the maximum energy recovery. In this video, we will go step by step from 1 until 8 to solve together this design. I'm going to use this stream data as our example. So please make sure that you have this data from your channels. In this data, you can see that we have two cold stream and two hot stream. From that data, we need to find out the energy target and the pinch point. As, as we know, we can find out these two data by using the compositive and also the problem table analysis. And for this video, I'm going to use the compositive data. And you can see here the QH mean is 750 kilowatt, QC mean is 1000 kilowatt. The pinch point is 145 degrees C. To draw the grid diagram letter, we need the pinch point for the hot stream and also for the cold stream. The pinch point for the hot stream is 150 degrees C and for the cold stream is 140 degrees C based on the Tati mean is 10 degrees C. Grid now. The procedure number three, we need to draw the grid diagram. Here is the rules of construction. Hot stream must run from left to right. Cold stream must run from right to left. Hot stream must be on the top and cold stream should be on your bottom. The hot utility symbol is H, the cold utility symbol is C. And the heat exchanger between the stream will be drawn as this. Okay, let's start to draw the grid diagram. As I said just now, the hot stream should be drawn at the top and the cold stream should be drawn at the bottom. You just follow the temperature supply and target given from the stream data. Now we want to draw the pinch line. The pinch line is based on the pinch point for the hot stream and pinch point for the cold stream. For the hot stream, the pinch point is 150 degrees C and for the cold stream is 140 degrees C. Just put the line of this pinch. At the left, we call the uh, as the above the pinch. At the right, one we call it below the pitch. As we can see for stream number three, the temperature supply and the pinch point is same, which is 140. So we doesn't have to draw the line for stream number three at below the pitch. Next is the rules for the pinch match. No exchanger has a temperature difference less than delta D. No process to process heat transfer across the pinch. No heat transfer across pinch by inappropriate use of utilities. If you're referring to this figure, you should understand that there should not be cooler at above the pinch and that should be not heater at below the pinch. And the uh, heat exchanger uh, trans heat exchanger shed should not be cross the pinch line. 
Here is the CP rules. For the above the pinch, CPH must be less and equal than CPC. And for below the pinch, the CPH is greater and equal than CPC. The CPC is the standing order. So we need to write down from the highest to the lowest CPC. CP. So, and then we will do the match. 25 with 30, 15 with 20. And for this CPH is 15 uh, 25 and 20, which is CPH greater than CPC. Now, we focus to design the above the pinch. CP rules for the above the pinch, CPH less and equal than CPC, which is 25, 15 is a hot CP, and for the cold CP is 30 and 20. We will do the matching between 25 and 30 and 15 with 20. So when we do the mesh ascender between the stream number 4 and 3, stream number 2 and 1. Now we want to know how much that heat that we should share. For that reason, we need to calculate our data H. How we want to calculate the data H is data H equal to CP data T. For stream number 2, the CP is 15. The data H will be taken 250 until 150, which is un only until the pinch line. So the total of data H for stream number 2 is 1,500 kW. And we also need to calculate for the whole of the other stream. We see the stream number 4 will be 1,250, stream number 1, 800, stream number 3 is 2,700. Now, we want to know how much that heat that we want to share between stream number 4 and 3, stream number 2 and 1. You can see here for stream number 4 and 3, stream number 4 have 1,250 heat. And for stream number 3, it have the data H 2700. So only 1250 that can be shared from stream number 4 to stream number 3. And the balance is 1450. For this reason, we need to know the temperature in here, which is we call as T1, so that we know in uh, here as heat exchanger that we can share here is at what, what temperature and we want to also we want also to know the temperature here because we want to know whether this is feasible or not next for the exchanger between stream number two and stream number one for stream number one it only have 800 800 Stream number 2, we have 1,500. So, for this stream, it will share only 800. And then for stream number 2, it will have a balance of 700 kilowatt. For this reason, we need to know the temperature here because we know that there will be a exchanger also in here. Now, we will calculate the temperature for the unfinished heat, which is T1 and T2. For the T1, we are going to calculate data H1250 equal to the CP for the stream number 3 which is 30 times with T1 minus 140 because 140 is a pinch value here. So the T1 is equal to 181.7 degrees C. Next, T2. T2 is 800 equal to CP for this stream, 15, times T2 minus 150. So, we're going to get T2 equal to 203 point, sorry, 203.3 degree C. And for the line that already done, we just 
make a tick. So we know that we already done for that stream. After we calculate the T1 and T2, now it's time for us to draw the TH diagram for the feasibility study. study. We will draw the stream number 4 and 3. 140 until 181.7 and 200 to 150. So there is no, no there is feasible value because the data team is 10 degrees C. So there is no value of the exchange in between these two is less than data team. Next, we need to draw the feasibility study for the stream number 2 and 1. 140 degree C to 180 degree C and 203.3 until 150. So this uh, stream also feasible. So we can proceed with that stream. So next, what we want to do is, we want to finish all of this unfinished heat. We can share in between stream number 2 and stream number 3 to get 700. After we get this, we need to calculate the temperature here. Once we done calculate this temperature, we need to draw the TH diagram for the feasibility study. And now we know this stream is already done. The balance is only at this stream, which is 750. So that 750 will go as the utilities, which is the hot utilities as a heater. After you finish this, you need to do for the below the pinch. Once you're done for the below the pinch, now you can complete the heat exchanger network design by combining the above the pinch and below the pinch and this is the final answer that you're supposed to get that's all for this video lecture i hope you will do this step by step by following this video i hope and i i hope this will help you to understand how to design the heat exchanger network. Thank you and Assalamu alaikum.